something's fishy. Hey guys, I'm Shark back doing a how to play Shen Top in season 11, where we'll be going over how to play the early mid and late game, how to team fight, when to go for roams with your R and solo carry every single one of your games. So, like usual, if you enjoy, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes you take. We are going the highest runes and builds from Master Tier Plus. And well, I mean, Shen just always is in a strong spot just in general knowing that he can make quite the global impact with his ulti and just influence the map that way now nasus from his setup i have no clue if this guy is going ap or ad but either way it's fine early game we have pressure over him knowing that our base damage is actually pretty high even if we go full tank, we still deal a good chunk. I want to get the Q to go past him, so that way my autos really hurt here. Basically, if your sword goes past the enemy, your next three auto attacks do a lot. And I mean a lot of damage, right? Get it to go through. Holy, I literally pressed it. Ah, oh, man, I literally autoed. Feels bad. But you're able to cheese really hard like that. I mean, we can get a zone off. That works. These shields should keep us pretty healthy. And yeah, I mean, here your laning phase, you could cheese it in some matchups, but most of the time you're just going to play for your level six, right? Damn. What sucks is I didn't get my Q to go through. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. But I mean, he's zoned. And I mean, it's Nasus. He just wants to farm up, but if you can stop him in any way, then good stuff, right? Zone him off the minion there. And set up a freeze ish. Or slow push back to us. So that way we could extend on this gold lead. That's fine. <clears throat> if I got the auto attack earlier, then that would have been a kill, but. I don't know what happened. Just didn't go through. You have to respect Shen's early game damage. Oh, we got to follow on Twitch. Make sure to check that in the description below. Ooh. Yeah, Shen recalled, I think. Or not Shen. Uh, Nasus recalled, so it's fine. I'll just get the slow push into my tower. And then I'll probably stay and then TP back. Oh, no, he didn't. Get the Q to go through him. Uh, blind. Er... My W. The block. I mean, he really is zoned. So, we just keep up this farm lead here. And we have our mouse buttons to pan at bot lane. So, that way, when we turn level 6, easy. It's easy roams, easy plays, and easy leads about to be made. So, I think I want to thin out this wave, though. Uh. Yep. We'll just do that. We're not going to get too much jungle assistance, because I think Fiddle's one of those players that just likes to AFK farm, and in our reality, I mean, I'm fine with it. Your build is you rush... Make the Q go through. Get the autos in. And I think this is fine. Damn. Okay. I think this is fine because we have TP advantage. We could just come back to lane if need be. So after this wave. I will back and then come back to lane with TP. Oh. Damn, okay, okay. Joe got this top. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Joe got this top, but I'll just TP back to lane. Uh, I can get my Balmy Cinder, that, and two potions, and catch most of the wave knowing that it's a cannon. That's actually pretty good for me. It's all right for Cho got knowing that he got the kill. I saw the Mia mid, but I was like, is there really a way that Cho got this going to be here? I doubted it, but I stand corrected. He is bot, or he is top. 
I have R. I have to be can panning my camera mid and bots a lot, which is what you do on Shen. You have to have really good macro if you want to succeed. Since map awareness, or not macro, but more, the less map awareness, oh, he's pressured off it. Okay, now he can maybe fight this actually. No, he's under leveled. Oh, they switched. Yeah. It's fine. We live. Fiddlesticks is bot. Shogath. Yeah, you could stay top. It's fine. He camps a Nasus. That's not towards the best of their resources, right? Because I'm a tank top, and most of the time I just want to make roams. And not even play for lane. Like, if it was an Irelia top and you were camping Irelia. Maybe that would be better, but I'm a tank top that has global pressure, so. Just waiting for the moments where they're about to get into a close fight. Oh, I messed up so hard. I missed, I fat fingered. I fat fingered really hard. I meant to press it on Ash, but Ash was going to live all along. Well, we could see if we could come mid lane, but I'm just trying to go top. Trying to go top here. Indra, no mana. No mana. No problem. We could just head it top. Feels bad. Nasus is getting a slow push back to us. And... I mean, we could pressure him, but him stacking is just going to be inevitable. Okay. I'm gonna set up a play. He just W'd and E'd. Get the Q to go through. Get the Q to go through. Huh. Now that's interesting. I thought that it would take him a bit more time to scale, but Nasus is Nasus, and he can actually deal quite the bit to me already, which is actually pretty insane, knowing that he only has Ruby Crystal, and he doesn't even have 200 stacks, which is mind-blowing, but I'm guessing I'm going to build more armor, more magic resistance, and we should be fine. I'm just going to shove in one more wave and then look to recall. Nasus is a sitting duck. I hope to make impact for the team so that way they could actually succeed. He's going to cancel it, yeah. At least we know he placed the vision there. I think I got a little bit too... Greed with the ult I used earlier since I just wanted to use it right away. Yep, let's get the tier 2s and then... That, that, and that should be good for the early portions of the game. Tier 2, so that way we could go around the map quicker and... Well, I mean, it's Nasus. All of his abilities or damage comes from autos, so, yeah. Just helps us most. AFK Fiddlesticks. AFK Farming Fiddlesticks. I don't know if I approve so much of that playstyle. Knowing that this game is very early to mid game focused for the meta you see ganked mid he's gonna go for the cannon of course so we want to pressure him here just go for a really good trade like that with the grasp can i look there i was losing out on cs because i was looking bot I think if I looked at Ash, I might have been able to save her, but you gotta constantly get the pan in for your ulti, and most of the time you just want to set it around dragon and rift fights. This game is more passive than usual. Usually your games will be more hectic, so you have more opportunities to R, but 
in this game in particular. I mean, look, total of 10 kills by this minute mark. I should have expected that. I'm getting capped top. It's funny because it's not the best move for them to do. Camp top when mid and bots are probably going to be win condition. And I'm winning in CS, so I mean, you know what? It's fine. It's literally just the wrong move to do from them. I could R there. Kind of a rough start, but it is what it is. I could R. Oh, man. Yeah. I could look here. I need to look somewhere, man. This is so painful to play. Because it's like, I need to make picks. I need to make plays. Look here. There we go. Nice TP play here. Q through. Auto the sh Jinx. We get a double, and that's pretty good. I still have R, so I mean, I could impact the team, but... Kind of got tilted from top getting camps. Something that pretty much never happens, knowing that... Top lane... Is not going to be win condition when you're playing against Shen because camping mid and bot would happen most of the time since bot is easier to gank and it's a mid lane meta. Get your mid laner ahead, then they can control the majority flow and states of the game. You could literally look there. I mean, I have R. I have R. You could R. Chase him down. Q through him. Auto, auto, auto. Get another kill like this. I mean, it generally pushes somewhat of a lead. It's just a gold lead at this point. Because Fiddlesticks isn't really taking objectives from these plays. I don't know. We might be able to tower dive Aurelia. She's trying to get five stacks, supposedly. The guitar plating, yeah. I think we should fall back and play towards drag. Okay. For real, I'm literally telling you the right move. I'm literally telling you the right move. It's literally the right move. Go, go. Look at Bob. Bob just got soloed. It's not that hard, man. They get first tower because you're not bot. It, it's not that hard. You guys are so fucking brain dead, man. I'm literally telling you, go bot, go drag. Those are where the objectives are, but you're staying top, which makes no sense. What are you doing? All right, now I'm getting trolled, and I'm actually trying to carry here. Oh my, it's not that hard. And you literally just tax so much XP when you could have cleared your bot side and looked for drag. Terrible macro. Actually, just terrible macro. Jeez. Now I'm gonna look mid. Because, you know, you doing your Shen type things. You want to be looking for these roams. Look to do this. Get the block in. Get the rampage. And Fiddlesticks instant to Nasus. This guy's a fucking idiot. A 20 IQ. Just disgusting player. It's it's not the fact that... I need the XP from that. That he necessarily fed the kill is that he's not listening to my pinks. That's the problem here. If you listen to my pinks, things would be going a lot better. But I guess he just doesn't want to. Nasus probably will struggle taking tower because I'll, I'll just eat him. Right? I don't have Q. Okay. A little bit of a rough early game, but I still think we could pull through. I think he might win us. Yeah, he might beat us in these trades since we didn't buy our mythic yet. 
We're too close to our tower, so we can't kill. Q through. Be ours, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. That's actually crazy. He did it well. Oh. Shake my head. Now, this is a tough pickle to carry for sure. Let's get that. And the second item, you want to build Titanic Hydra, of course. Look here. Look here. Look here. Nice. Wanted to look for Irelia because I know Cho'Gath is coming for the counter gank. I'm going to W the Sona so that way she doesn't die. And basically, that's how you want to place Shen. It's through ultimates and sometimes winning your laning phase like how we did top against Nasus. Because he's a weak game, uh, weak early game champion. If we were playing versus something like, oh, I don't know. Riven. Irelia. Then there's a possible chance... We might want to play a bit more safe, but we played aggressive with our EQ to beat the Nasus early on. We have Mythic compared to him, so of course we're going to win this. And if it's one thing I just, I'm just i getting frustrated about is this jungler. This team is fine, believe it or not. I think this team is not bad. I'm very reasonable. Not bad of a team. I don't care if you guys fed. I don't care if you guys had a rough early. I care when you don't listen to calls and... You just int. Like, I pinged 50 times. And it's literally the right play, but they just, like, don't register that. It's like you AFK farmed the whole game. And then you're down. What is this? You're down 40 CS and then wonder why teammates get frustrated. I don't promote toxicity. All right, don't be toxic. Always have a kind mindset. How can I win? That's what you want to be thinking. I don't have R, so can't really do much for the team. I could probably win this. Oh. In camp top. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm getting camp top. And I'm still doing semi well. That is crazy. I'm actually getting tilted. Because they have a jungler that's playing like Korean challenger here. And my jungler is literally just doing the opposite of helping and just being adding more pain to the fire of trying to carry this game. Actually, just I'm getting I'm fuming. Riot Games hates me. That's the problem. Like I just didn't want the Syndra to die. I thought Syndra had shutdown gold. She's four and one, but our R's on a 120 second cooldown, which is fine. If we are there, knowing that it's gonna come up really soon, we could look for Nasus. Try to. I don't know if we'll have the movement speed, but you know we could try. Oh, Fiddlesticks got it. Oh, man. Out of all people, I wanted the Ash, even the Sona. She has really good heals. Someone useful to get it. Well, we've had an AFK jungler who's still getting out farmed. Riot Games. Why do you hate me this much? Okay. Our R is up in 77, so if you guys can chill for a little bit. Nope. Fiddlesticks, this dumbass idiot doesn't know how to just peel off. Well, I don't have R. Fiddlesticks probably engaged it. Uh, yeah. It's literally Fiddlesticks. It's literally Fiddlesticks. My team is fine. It's one person. Still carryable. I just have to R. Probably the Ash. Peel for her a little bit. We could set up plays around that maybe play front to back kill whoever's front line and then go to their back line right but i don't know we will see as time 
goes on, but in theory, that's how I want to play this out. It's like if Nasus, Cho'Gath, Irelia go for the Ash, we ult the Ash and then peel back. Because I don't know, we need someone to kill the Jinx. That's the thing, which sucks. Because Syndra can kill the Jinx, but how is she going to actually get in range of that, you know? I don't think I really should outplay this. I got so nervous. Oh, I saved the Ash because Jinx ulted. That's actually pretty good. I didn't expect that, but it happened. Can we look drag? Look drag. Took it. They took it. <sighs> Give it to Syndra. Guy is so fucking bad at this game. Syndra's literally trying to carry and you take her blue buff. Holy snaps. Holy shit. Is this guy just on some other level? I could look for this actually. Give me the kill. So disrespectful. Has the audacity to smite it, even though he's dealing like a fourth or fifth of the Syndra's damage this game. It is actually sad. He's taxing top wave because he has nothing to farm. I've never been so tilted in my life. Could have said, you could have said something. He might be tilting you. No, no, I didn't say anything after I pinged him 20 times. Yeah, I definitely didn't say anything to him. Pinged him 20 times and he doesn't listen. Yeah, I definitely didn't say anything to the Spittlesticks. But look, 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 look. Look on the bright side. We we won top. And we can actually have a mid-game impact with our ulti as we split push. So, I think things are looking up. We have to get, yeah, healing reduction because their comp is just... A lot of healers. Blade of the Rune King with Kakin Slayer, Jinx. That's going to be a tough pickle for me to, you know, kill. But I have high hopes. High hopes that my damage dealing Ash, Syndra. I don't know if I can rely on Fiddlesticks, but I have to just back away here. I think I'll just back away because I don't know who's around. Okay. I don't have an, any... I don't have any resistance to magic right now at least so it's kind of sucky i have to look for an ulti play here i can't look for it onto that at all that's just you guys getting caught <sighs> and i think i have to look top help syndra Feels bad. Because Nasus is just AFK farming getting stacks, which is the last thing we want to happen. Knowing that he skills like a beast. Oh boy. Oh, well, the block did help. Ah, close. Oh! <laughs> Fiddlesticks, please, please, Fiddlesticks, man. Riot just hates me. It's fine. We have unfortunate games. Still winnable. Again, I still say still winnable because look. Let's go. Sona gets the kill. Ah, we need to get to the Jinx somehow. Their Jinx and Nico are like their damage dealers. Technically, they all are damage dealers this game. But the biggest, I mean. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I know you're gonna miss the cannon, so I had to get that. You need to look for like the Jinx. I'll split push. I'll split push and then R to a fight. No. Go mid. Go mid because I have R, and then, you know, if they engage on you, I could just R. Okay. Now, this is actually not bad. I want to R there. Because drag is up, and then that's going to be where I need to R. Nice, nice picks, though. Only when they're about to die, or an extended fight's about to happen. I don't know. I thought they were gonna get engaged on by like uh Cho'gath or Nasus, are they here? Because we can't oh they're here. No, okay, good, good. We can't let them get soul. So we need to look here. To take drag and then play off not losing. Yep. I have to eat here, so that way he doesn't kill my teammates. Nice. Ash gets the kill. I'm peeling back. Standing in front, so that way all projectiles don't hit my team. And then that was just a failed attempt. Nah, we can't. We can't. They're all trying to recall. We have to respect that. They don't want to make an aggressive play. We'll play back for a little bit. And once I get Thornmail, then their healing should be reducted by quite a bit. And then it's more doable. Ooh, my sword went through, so my autos are enchanted for sure. Look here. Yep. Get the shutdown on the Jinx. I'm trying to make sure my team doesn't die. You know, we could actually look barren. We could actually look barren. If need be. Look here. Give me that. I'll take that. That's the 10th kill of the game. And then now we can look Baron, actually. But we're just a 1v1 monster against anyone who does AD damage since we're stacking armor. Nothing else but armor. And we do so much damage knowing that, yeah, our base damage is really, really, really high. I need to play for this fight. Nice! I got the Baron. I needed to play for the fight or else Cho'Gath would have stole it with his R and Smite. So I needed to taunt him. There we go. Killing spree. That's what I like to see. We can get Thornmill and then now... I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. Heal Amp. We don't really... Do we need the MR for Nico and a Cho'Gath? It'd probably be better just to stack armor or get team fight durability with Gargoyle Stoneplate, but Randuin's Omen will go a long way. Trust, their AP damage isn't enough. Until Nico maybe gets Rabadon's death cap, but we got some some MR from our mythic item, which is fine. Okay. Rampage. And I, yeah, you, you deal no damage to me. And on top of that, I have a, I have a, what's it called? Taunt, which is really good. Okay. So, oh, I'm not going to ult for Fiddle. I am definitely not ulting for Fiddle. Out of all people, I am not ulting for Fiddle. Because he, he, in reality, can't even do the 1v1. Look here. Look here. Uh, you see how tanky I am? I'm not gonna die. Oh, no. I mean, technically we can look for this fight here. Probably best that we peel off. Q through the Cho'Gath. E him. Ugh. Oh, nice R. Nice R. Nice R. Oh, man. 
Now this is absent chat. We're still technically still winning this, but Okay, taunt. Taunt is OP. We taunted as soon as she flashed forward, which is why we were saving it. And yep, the top diff is huge. I think we could take inhib and then come closer and closer to ending the game. And that's basically how you want to play Shen. Things may be a little bit rough early, but if your map awareness is on point, you have really good macro knowing when to split push and R to a teammate. You should be able to make the plays your team needs to actually win the mid to late game. Now we want to be looking to take drag. And at this point, this game, I'd say is a 4v5 because, well, it's kind of troll. The Fiddlesticks is kind of troll. I, I'm not kidding when I say kind of troll. Just in general, uh, I want to say that red elixir is good if you're really ahead and want a bit more AD damage. But the A, the what's it called, tank elixir, is really good if you're kind of even or you just are a tank in your game and you want to be... A good old frontline tank with tenacity because that's what it gives, right? Look here. I could R, that's the thing. You guys live, that's fine. I need to R. I need to R Ash because she can't die here. Really good R play here. Hi back with Randuin's Omen. Oh man. The Nasus is still top. That was Shogat's Predator. We could take this. We deal a good amount of damage for going pretty much full tank, right? Hey! Nice, 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 nice. Now we can split push bot here. And look to push onto this tower. And then after we take tower, I hope we... Oh, we don't have enough for war mogs, but... We're getting there. War mogs is pretty good. I mean... Oh, now we're there. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, war mogs can be replaced with, like, a magic resist item. I'm not really too afraid of Nico unless she builds Rabadon's death cap. And Shogat's, like... AP and all, but he's going full tank, so you really don't have to worry about anything like that. I'll just split push top. And then R2 will fight. I still do want to peel for Jinx since, well, she is a really good damage dealer. And then having her die will lose out on our consistent dps and team fights syndra is also a good target to ult even though late game she can semi fall off if she gets focused the team plays around that we should be fine I'm trying to look if i can make an ulti play or are we just chilling We, we, I mean, Baron is up. Yeah, I see how it is. I see how it is. It's literally only me. I'm the only one that gets focused in this game. I got camped top and I was losing my mind. At how many times he repeatedly came. I need to go for Ash. More than anything, I need to peel for Ash. Ah. Not bad, not bad. Peel. I ulted, but I don't know if that's enough. Is it? It is. Yep. Lost out the W. That's how you want to play team fights, is peeling for the best carry. Same time dealing damage to whoever who's frontline. And yeah, Jinx cannot kill me. 
like usual, guys. If doing the flash E combo. Nice. Like usual, guys, if you enjoyed, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like. Comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. Check out the Twitch, join the Discord. Look at the Warmog seal. All social medias in the description below. And I will catch you next time. I hope you learned or enjoyed how to play Shen. Top.